All right, thank you very much. Uh, well, it's been a fun couple days, and now we're getting ready for the PlayStation press conference. I think we're about eight minutes away from it, live in 4K here on YouTube, and we've got an awesome all-star panel here to talk about all things PlayStation. We've got I, Justine, Andy McNamara, the editor-in-chief of Game Informer. We've got Alana with us as well, and Allegra. Good to have you guys with us. Um, so yeah, let's talk about uh, Sony. They had such an amazing show. I think you got to see it in person last year. Yeah, it was Justine. great. Andy and I were in a similar studio. See, see. Talking about it. I don't know if you guys were there or not, but uh, it's such a great show last year. Lots of big surprises, an orchestra, huge spectacle to it. Uh, this year for PlayStation, can, can they top themselves? I think they're going to have to. Wow. I mean, last year was so incredible, and, it, and it, of course we've already seen Xbox. Yes. So what are they going to do to compete with that? That's a good question. Andy always has the inside scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, I think this year, I, it's, I think it's hard to live up to, like, last year because they were looking so far in the future. And I think games, like as far as cycles, have shortened up a little bit. I think they want to focus more on the now as opposed to... Well, I mean, to out like of all the games they showed last year, I don't know how many of them actually even ship. I mean, like God of War, Spider-Man, we haven't even seen those games since E3 last year. Correct. So I think that's we're going to get a deeper look at yeah. those particular games. I mean, the one that I, that I don't know if it'll be there or not would be Sucker Punch. Right. That's kind of my like expected, maybe that's the surprise. We don't know what they're see. building. We don't know no, what they're doing. Probably they have moved on from Infamous, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But, you know, maybe they focus on Spider-Man just because they classically do, like, hero games. Yep. So maybe we, maybe we see it, maybe we don't. Maybe we see Last of Us, mm -hmm. but they did do that at PSX last year. I don't right. know if they're going to let that wait when we're going to like focus on Uncharted this year. Yeah. So it could go, it could go either way. I mean, the thing is, predicting Sony and what they're going to do is difficult. And, you know? and no, and they're also you know very secretive. I don't think anyone knows quite what's going to happen. Like last year, that orchestra, I don't think anyone knew what was happening until we saw the first shot here of like, wait, there's like a hundred piece orchestra. <laughs> what are they doing there? Uh, Alana, you guys have been having a great week with IGN covering all this stuff. What, what are IGN sources telling you guys about what we might see tonight? Pretty much nothing. We okay. Don't what? Know. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, they, Sony keep it really tight. So, yeah. I mean, it, I just can't get over how hot it's going to be following right off of Beyond Good and Evil 2. Yeah. Like, I was actually crying. So I think that's a really hard thing to follow up on. That I was it, that was, that's been the highlight of E3 for you? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I, so if Sony doesn't make tears. you cry. <laughs> so well, the way to make that's me cry high bar. is exactly. a new IP from FromSoft. Okay. That's how you make me You're cry. You're going to cry right here if that happens? I, I assure you I will cry. Oh, wow. Yes. All right. We're gonna Guaranteed. Get <laughs> we shall see. Allegra, um, you know, Sony, you know, so many great games that push the industry forward with so many incredible studios. You know, Xbox we saw yesterday had lots of games, but first party wise, it didn't really have a lot new to announce. Sony, as, as, as Andy said, so many games last year. God of War, Spider-Man, you know, they've got an Uncharted expansion, they've got The Last of Us, Death Stranding, which Kojima has said supposedly is not gonna be there. Um, also, you know, looking at Detroit, there was a tease this morning from Quantic Dream on their Twitter that sort of became active, so is that gonna be there in some way? Um, what, what would mean the most to you tonight? You know, there's Final Fantasy, you know, 7 Remake. Is that going to appear? <laughs> you literally said it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. love to see Final Fantasy 7, or I just always go back to Sony 2015 with yeah. Shenmue 3, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Last Guardian. And, you know, Last Guardian's out, but we haven't seen Shenmue or Final Fantasy 7 really since then. Yes. And I know Square Enix and... You, Suzuki, have said, eh, don't expect much, but I'm really, like, fingers crossed that we see something from one of those. That'd There's got to be, be some fun. kind of surprise, especially Sony being a Japanese company. It's like, you know, studios, developers over there. You get, sometimes there are things that no one has any idea are happening that just sort of show up there. Well, I think the internet would predict Bloodborne 2. Yes, that's Which I, I think would be one that would be on the list. I people would be we'd, pretty psyched about I that. I think right? people would be very psyched, psyched about that to be on the list. So, I mean, I know I would be. Right. I mean, that, would, that, would make, that would make part of the show for me. Now, let's talk about you know, Sony in relation to what Xbox did yesterday. Xbox announced the most powerful console. Everyone got t-shirts saying, I witnessed the <laughs> most powerful console ever revealed. I didn't something. get a t-shirt. I saw, I saw really? like, there were rows of people wearing these shirts. And there were, I mean, there were fans, I don't know, but people were wearing this shirt. Um, and you know, they announced Xbox One X yesterday for $499, $100 more than the PS4 Pro. Um, you know, a lot of people would say, hey, Sony, now you're no longer the most powerful system out there, even though they're the most popular system. Uh, Andy, starting with you, I mean, does Sony need to be worried? Do they need to react in some way to what Xbox is doing? I don't think so. I mean, I, I think that, you know, I think the one thing we've learned that's so much different than, like, say, in the 90s or even the, the early 2000s is that it's the games that really define the system ultimately. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think 
Uh, you know, Nintendo's you know had that as a battle cry for a long sure. time. But I mean, it, it's true. I mean, if you have the software that people want to play, right? Um, and I have a to play on. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, it's it's hard to tell. I think for a lot of like, especially for like a lot of people that love 4K and they want 4K to be a part of it, because other people are like, I can't tell the difference, right? right? And, and so I, I think that uh, it's a great race to have. I mean, it's important to have new technology. I mean, pushing games forward at all times and give yeah. developers the tools they need to make more interesting games. But I think it's what they do with One X, you know what I mean? Not right. like just scaling up the games that we already we already great. know we're going to be able to play. Uh, Justine, you were over today at the Xbox event, got to go hands-on with the One X, play the yeah. games. Uh, are you you feeling like there's a lot there? I mean, I think so, but for me, like, I play on a very small monitor because I'm usually, like, capturing gameplay and, you know, for most first-person shooter games, if I'm playing on a smaller screen, it's not going to make that much of a difference for me. So I'm like, that's cool. But I got to play Forza. I played Sea of Thieves, which was really fun. And going back to the whole PlayStation Xbox thing, you know, it, you, it, it's really where your friends are. So I sure. switched for to sure. PlayStation when uh, they got all the Call of Duty exclusives. Yeah. So now I'm getting super excited to see what Call of Duty announces, especially for multiplayer. You know, coming from that Call of Duty esports world, yeah. uh, we already heard Nade Shot, you know, talking up the game. He's like, are they going to have vehicles in multiplayer? What is this? <laughs> so I'm excited about that. But I mean, it's, it's really where your friends are. And right. um, I don't know. I, I had a great time. The Xbox press conference was great. I yeah. enjoyed it. No, but I agree. And, and you know, you look at Xbox, they didn't really talk about any crazy new innovations in Xbox Live or anything that we're going to bring people back over. And, and I you know, saw some people expecting to hear something VR from Xbox. That's true. Yeah, they, they, last year happening. they had sort of teased that when they announced Project Scorpio. I think Todd Howard was there talking about how it was going to, you know, impact VR. And Xbox said very directly, like, we're not talking about that yet, maybe in the future. But you're right, PlayStation has PSVR. Exactly, yeah. Well, they announced new games for PSVR tonight. That was, you know, I think it's kind of doing okay so far, but it's like, you know, not a lot of games announced for PSVR see what could happen there. Um, yeah, I mean, do you guys, does anyone expect Sony to, you know, announce PS5 tonight? <laughs> no. Definitely don't think so. No. And, I mean, I think with the way that these 4K races work, it's kind of, it's for that really exclusive market. I feel like there will be some people, but it's a very small percentage of people who will go yeah. for Xbox One X because it's the best. But I don't think that's majority of gamers. Like you said, it's where the software is, it's where your friends are, and yeah. majority of people are playing on PlayStation right now, so I think it totally makes sense. Well, and if they can get an S for so much cheaper, then why so true. not? Yeah. So also, you can get that, and you can get yourself a Nintendo Switch. What so you're set. to parents? <laughs> like, it's such a hard thing to sell to people who don't know yeah. about games. S versus X is just such a confusing concept. But true. I don't feel like we need a uh, new PlayStation hardware. I do want to see support for um, PSVR for sure. I hope it doesn't turn yeah. into a Vita thing, where at some point all of the support in new games just drops off. Right. So. Yeah. Definitely more games. I want to know what I'm going to be playing for the next 12 months on PSVR. Well, and that's a good question with uh, PSVR and also PS4. You know, all these games we're talking about, it's real questions like, you know, will games like God of War and Spider-Man, will they even come out this year, right? We saw them last year, but it's like, are those releases this year or next year? Or how much further out that's going to be? We'll also hopefully hear, I would expect from Call of Duty, Justine mentioned Destiny 2. They've got a lot yes. of marketing partnerships sure. with a lot of uh, third parties. Um, you know, people wondering, you know, even last week there were some rumors, you know, will we see Red Dead there? Will we see these other games that, you know, they have partnerships with? What, what are you hearing, Annie? Are there going to be any surprise kind of big third-party games there? I mean, I, I, I will be surprised <laughs> if Red Dead is there, but yeah. if it was going to be anywhere, I think this is the place to show it. I mean, right. I, I, if, I, if Red Dead were to happen, it's going to be the, oh, right. one more thing one more before thing. I leave. You know, I mean, yep. that would be my guess. Jima has said he's not going to be there. Yeah. Um, showing anything on Death well, you, I mean, you, you know everything Kojima does. I mean, you tell I think, us. I think he's yeah. telling the truth. I don't think he's going to be in <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll surprise us. So that's what I mean. I feel like Sony always, you know, has one or two things that you just sort of don't expect. And, they, and the thing with them is they really know the E3 audience really well. You know, mm -hmm. the Final Fantasy remake, Shenmue, these types of things that really will tug at the heartstrings. So we are about 30 seconds away now going to the Shrine Auditorium. Uh, we're expecting the press conference is going to last. Uh, Probably somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half is what our sources are telling us. So uh, we're looking forward to watching uh, PlayStation Live here. Ten seconds away. Enjoy the PlayStation E3 media briefing. We'll be back afterwards with full interviews. Enjoy the show.